Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I look a little crazy today. We are doing a do's and don'ts type of video. I haven't done this in so many years, but I feel like it was super necessary for me in my life right now and maybe for other people that are my age. This is a do's and don'ts for people over 30, 30 plus. Look, we wanna hang on to our old ways of doing makeup, but our skin is sitting different on our face. It is not as tight. So I'm gonna be showing you guys techniques on how to look your best youthful self. Hopefully you guys can tell which one is the don't side. I'm just gonna let you guys comment right now. Hopefully you guys get it right. If anything that I say today is working for you and making you feel good, you keep doing it. Makeup has no rule. It's whatever makes you feel good and look good. These are just my tips and tricks that I've learned. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully to help you out. This is our new way of doing makeup. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get in to this video okay we're gonna start off with the don't side it's gonna be my don't side this is my do side and i'm gonna go in with primer the don't would either be to not go in with primer or go in with the wrong primer for your skin type so if you're 30 plus your skin is not as tight as it used to be maybe it's not like completely hanging off your face but it's just not as plump and tight as it used to be this is like my personal journey through makeup when i was younger i just wanted matte poreless skin so i'm using this pore diffusing primer all over my face which can be nice depending on your skin type. On top of that, I would go in with this amazing primer, which is great for targeted areas, but I would go in all over, all over my under eyes, my nose, and mind you, I already have dry skin, but not really wanting to understand that. In my 20s, this is what I would do. But I was very matte and very poreless, but you're gonna see what I'm talking about when I put the makeup on top of it. So on this side, if you're over 30, you want hydration you want spf so i already cleansed my face did my moisturizer this is my favorite moisturizer ever this is so great this is from augustina's batter and it's called the rich cream if you try it you'll fall in love with it i also put spf on every single day on this side that has dried and set from earlier so now i want a primer that's going to just hydrate and make my makeup last all day and stick to my skin so i'm using this blur and moisture serum primer it's lightweight very thin at the same time it minimizes pores without looking thick on the skin if you have dry skin this is particularly for you if you have a dry skin and you're putting on a thick pore filling primer sometimes it could cling to the dry spots on your face and make it look even worse even more textured so just be careful with that this one is a very lightweight serum type of moisturizing primer and it has like a tacky finish so that your foundation or whatever you put on top of it is going to stick to your face the rest of the day you can see that this side looks a lot more lively for foundation i'm gonna use a matte thick foundation which is this one from tarte this is the face face tape so i'm just gonna put some on my hand you can tell it's pretty thick the problem that i have with this is that for mature skin if you wear a thick foundation it's going to get into your fine lines and i'm speaking to me and my dry skin and if you're out there and you're over 30 and have dry skin it's not gonna look very flattering it's gonna get into the crevice especially if you put on that super matte primer all over your face as well it's not gonna look as porcelain doll like as you used to think it looked like it's just gonna enhance all the texture all the divots all of the fine lines in your skin. I try to avoid my eye area just so we don't get too much cakiness. I don't want to go overboard too much on the don't side because I want it to be realistic to our common mistakes. It's settling into every fine line that I have. Even if I don't have a fine line, it's just, it's finding one and it's settling there. It's like making a little home and it's not cute. For the do side, I'm gonna use a light reflecting lightweight foundation so this one is from valentino it is the light lasting perfecting foundation with an spf of 25 which is amazing spf in anything that you have makeup to skincare is going to be beautiful for anybody in their 20s to the rest of your life i used to put a lot of foundation on back in the day because i wanted to like cover up everything all the spots and acne scarring but it just makes it worse so less is more when you get older you think that you need more makeup because you're older you don't you really really don't just work it in all over the face so this side looks 
moisturize, it looks healthy, it looks glowy. It just looks like youthful, plump, lively skin. Compared to this side, it just looks like life. No matter what side I'm on, I wanna use full coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a super full coverage concealer that was really popular in 2016 and 2017, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. And it is a really good coverage, so I get it. And I'm gonna go in how I used to go, put on my concealer back in the day. Honestly, it still looks good for pictures or like a glam night out. I'll still do it. Like I won't do it like this, but I'll still like do a little bit of a triangle. But yeah, we're gonna just put an excessive amount because that's what we did in our 20s. I'm gonna work it in and you're going to see that you don't need this much concealer. You're going to see that you don't need it to be as thick. Let me just show you the dew side. For the dew side, I'm gonna be using the Wide Awake Full Cover Concealer from Dominique. And I'm just gonna use it where I need it. This is like an everyday type of placement and that's like right in the inner corner, right here on the outside. And I do need it a little lower, so I'm just gonna put it here. Whether you have mature skin or you don't, if you have puffiness under the eye, this is going to help diffuse the puffiness. There's a metal tip to this. It feels amazing. It just glides on so beautifully. And it starts off with a medium coverage. You can shear this out if you want, but it is very, very lightweight. This concealer is not thick at all. It's very, very thin and you can just layer it on without it looking cakey or creasy. And the finish is kind of like a natural, healthy skin, glowy finish. It just looks like healthy, glowy skin. And I'm I get amazed every time I put this on. I'm like, oh my God, my skin looks so glowy and nice. When I say glowy, I mean like dewy. It has like a natural dewy skin finish. It's not like super wet or glossy looking, but it does have this like beautiful, natural, healthy dewiness to it. And I'm gonna take it on top of my eyelids so that we can help all the discoloration up there. It's more lightweight. It's not gonna settle into the fine lines as much as a thicker concealer is. And if you wanna go a little bit heavier, you can, this is the medium coverage. But if you wanna go full coverage, then you just add a little bit more to those spots. And don't worry, whenever you blend around, it's going to make it throughout the under eye so you don't have to put it on all over the under eye for an everyday type of makeup look. If I am doing like an Instagram or I wanna look super glam, I might do that. But for an everyday in my 30s type of makeup, I am doing this. And the great thing about this is that it doesn't have to be super full coverage if you don't want it to, but it will definitely take you there if you if you need it to. Also has caffeine, it helps to tighten and brighten, smooth out the under eye area. So it's just, it's just amazing. I'm actually going to contour now because on the dew side, I use creams rather than powders. So I'm gonna contour with this cream bronzer from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is in the shade Nakey. It's very, very natural. And what I like to do is contour with something like this. This is from It Cosmetics, the Complexion Perfection Number no. 7 brush. This is the all over brush, which I love. So I'm just gonna take this right into my cheekbone area and I want to pat that in and then blend upwards around the temple. That's gonna lift and add structure to the face. Using more of a natural kind of bronzer or a contour shade is going to look best on you so it doesn't accentuate your face in the wrong way, you know? So when you're contouring with mature skin, you want it to look as natural as possible. You wanna use a shade that's at least two to three shades darker, not five to seven shades darker because you can do that if you want. It might be a little hard to blend out. So you want it to look natural as possible and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the brow bone. Something that I've found myself doing more often now that I'm in my 30s is I like to lift everything. So my contour is all about lifting. I go through the brow bone straight across and upwards right out to the temple and then I follow that through to my nose contour. I'm also gonna do the chin and the jawline. So we are naturally contoured on this side, but on this side, we wanna set our face already. So to set my face on the don't side, I'm gonna use this powder right here. It's an all over mattifying powder. First, I'm just going to dip the sponge into the powder and I'm gonna bake. I'm just gonna press it in and start to mattify that area, I'm just like, is this the right side? This is great, I mean, for a night out, yes, this is great, but for an everyday, no. 
don't do it. I mean, it looks great in photos, but when you look at somebody in person, you're gonna see all the fine lines. You see when I smile, you're gonna see all that and it's, it just doesn't look good. That's the wrong way to set your face. So another thing that I would love to do is just set my entire face with a mattifying pressed powder. And this Kat Von D pressed powder is still my favorite. It is the most full coverage and I loved it so much. I would just put it all over my face. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, I look like actually super full. <laughs> I look so flawless in this right now. But if you were to see me up close and I'm smiling, you're gonna see every little indention I've ever had that life has created on my face, you're gonna see it. That's why I do this new technique on the dew side of my face. So for the dew side, I'm gonna take a hydrating setting powder. This is the Smooth and Blur setting powder and I'm gonna take a brush like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder, just a little bit and dab off the rest into the lid and softly like look up so it doesn't get into your fine lines. I mean, so it does get in there and I'm just gonna set like that and over the eyes as well. And I usually just do the T-zone area so that my makeup doesn't move around or slide. So I'll go ahead and just do that very lightly. And you'll notice that the fine lines are much less. Your skin looks smoother. It doesn't feel tight where there's like a thick powder on your face. It's just very, very natural. So now we're gonna contour on the don't side. I'm gonna use a powder and we're just gonna contour our cheeks in a very angular way and it just goes straight down and that is how we used to do our contour i'm gonna do my nose too with powder don't do it with powder do it with a cream it just works better i mean you can but just just to set it a little bit but don't rely on just powder because it's going to age your skin even more and i'm just going to go into the hollow of the eye i'm not going to bring it up i'm going to take this bronzer and go right on top of that to add some glow on our face it's going to look dry and creasy and cakey and just make you look old Older than what you are. So for the do side, I do want to set my face because I want it to stay in place, but I don't want to set it with a matte powder. I want to set this part of my face with a luminous powder. I used to be so scared of the word luminous or glittery or shimmery or pearls, whatever. Yes, glitter and shimmer still looks not that great on mature skin, but micro pearls and light reflecting powders look amazing. They make you look even better than what you did before. So to set this side, I'm gonna use a light reflecting powder. So I'm gonna take the Hoola Glow and just use that to set the contoured areas of our face. That's going to make you look so much younger when you have a luminous powder like this and healthy. It's just gonna look so good. And go over very small areas of where I contoured. So it sets and it doesn't move. And it also just adds a little more definition without it looking heavy and deep. It still looks very natural, just lifted and glowy. For blush, back in the day, it would be no blush and it would just be a bunch of bronzer on our cheeks. Or we use way too much blush right now at this moment in our 30 plus. So if you use too much blush, it can't actually make your cheeks look like they're dragging down your face. That it makes you look a little bit older. So the way you position your blush is a huge, huge thing. So for blush, I'm gonna be using Sunny. This is one of the new shades from Benefit. They came out with 12 different shades. They actually flew me out to Hawaii to do the reveal and launch, and it was so beautiful. I am so honored that I got to go. The shades in the range is just gorgeous. They have matte, shimmer, a little bit of everything, and the sleek packaging. I love, I can easily fit this in my bag. It's so easy, so chic, very pretty. The scent also is great. I love it. So anyways, I'm gonna use the shade Sunny. On the don't side, what we're gonna do is just apply it all over the cheek and really heavy. Honestly, blush is really in right now. So if you wanna stay with the trends, like you wanna put a lot of blush all over your cheek, but this actually can drag your face down and make you look older. So what I would suggest is place the blush higher up on the cheek so that it lifts your cheeks up and right around the temple. This gives you a fresh, youthful, lifted look without it 
consuming your entire face and really just dragging your face down. Also, this is a powder with like soft reflecting pearls in it. So it's great. It's going to look so beautiful on your skin. And yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit into my eye area and less is more. Okay, so now for the highlight. Highlight was everything in 2018. It was everything. So I'm gonna just pop on this highlight from Rem Beauty. This is Miss Mercury. And we're just going to make sure we are glowing to the gods. But you don't wanna glow like this because if you do, look at my face right now. All of my fine lines and texture is just popping. It is out there for the world to see and it's not a good look. Like it doesn't give me the glow that I want. Let me show you the type of glow that you should be using. So if you want the glow, you can completely just stop here because we already use light reflecting type of powders. So you don't have to add any glow. Or what I like to do is, I could have done this before I started, but I like to use Skin Gloss. Skin Gloss is a cream highlight and it has micro pearls in it. So if you use it under your skin, it actually has a tacky finish, so it locks onto your powders and creams. But you can also use it over your face. So I'm gonna take this on my finger and work it into my fingers like this. And it's going to look like we are glowing from within. So I just put it on my nose. You can put a little bit here. And you notice how little I use? You don't need that much. You can just work it into your fingers and the warmth of your skin will warm up the product and give you the most beautiful glowing effect without it enhancing your texture. So there we go. I'm only gonna put it there. You can actually put this on your lips as well. I'm gonna put it on my Cupid's bow in there. That is the highlight that you need nowadays versus the highlight that we did before. It just isn't working for us anymore. Oh my gosh, cut crease, eyeliner, the full thing, like we love it. Like shimmer on the lids looks beautiful. So we would before just get a shimmery eyeshadow and work it all over our lid and that would look really good at one point. But for some of us, we now have slightly hooded eyes, full on hooded eyes, our skin is just not the same on our eye area. So this doesn't look good anymore on me personally. So I have to do this in a strategic way. So I used to just put this all the way up to my eyelid. The contour for the eye was very deep and it would just go all the way through here. Before I would just follow my natural crease and go in like a half circle, make sure it was all blended with like a nice deep shadow. Now it's just not working for me. My eyes are a little hooded, kind of sagging a little bit more than what they used to. My skin is just not as taut in the eye area anymore. And then I would go in with a deeper eyeshadow and go right around to tie the look together. But that just kind of drags my eyes down even more. So for the do side, I'm gonna take the transition palette and I'm gonna use a matte crease shade, which is caramel and toffee for me. Apply it above the crease because that is going to help lift basically on the bone where the socket is on the eye because that is never gonna fall. And you just follow that bone and it's gonna help lift everything upwards. So I'm just taking that and I'm kind of going where I wanted to carve out my new contour to lift my eye. That's where I'm gonna put it. And then if I want a little bit of lift here, I'll just bring it down in this area, but it's always going upwards. And also just bring it into the eyelid a little bit, just about halfway, just so it's always lifting our eyes upwards. So it doesn't mean that you have to just use neutral eyeshadow all the time. That's not true either. I'm gonna use a deeper shade and show you how to use it. So for the deeper shade, I'm gonna use blushing mixed with mocha. So these two colors together, I'm just gonna take those and work it on the outer part of my eyelid. So really close to where that contour is, right out here, even if you have hooded eyes, this technique is gonna work so beautifully on you. Just make sure you follow where the bone, where the socket is, right there and right on the outside of your lash line. So we're using a little bit of a deeper shade and we're not bringing it all the way in. We're just bringing it about, not even halfway, so just like right there. I love liner. I used to do wing liner all the time. It's supposed to lift your eyes. When you're over 30 and your eyes are hooded now, it doesn't work the same. So you have to do your eyes in a different way. So I'm just gonna do my eyeliner how I would normally do back in the 20s. Oh my God, I feel so old saying that. Back when I was in my 20s. Okay, not that this looks bad because I don't think it does, but it doesn't do what I want it to do. So if you guys can see, when I 
put my eyes down, it looks snatched, right? Like my eyes look really lifted. But then I look, I look at you and you're gonna see that the fold of my eye goes over the wing. You see how it makes this really odd shape right here because the fold is covering the wing. And if it's not an eyeliner that dries really fast, it's gonna get smudged into your skin and it's just gonna be a big mess. So luckily this one is pretty good. This is Master Matte's Liquid Liner from Makeup by Mario. This is a good one. So I'm very surprised because this is the first time I'm using this. I've used other eyeliners and I've tried to do it and I've smudged it all over my eye and it was a hot mess. But there's a different way to do this now. So what we're gonna do is take a matte deep brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna take Coffee Bean. This is a Morphe X Aerial Brush, A16. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just going to use it on the outer corner of my eye. Bringing it a little bit here and smudging it around. Also, powders are so much more forgiving than a liquid liner, no matter what age you are. So it's always easier to do it this way. So basically we're doing a powder wing, which looks fresh, it looks lifted, without it looking heavy in 2016 vibes. You know what I mean? We're in 2022. Fresh face glam, clean girl makeup is that type of makeup style we're doing these days. And I feel like this one is more on trend to what you wanna look like now. The smallest thing you do to your eye can completely change your eye shape because it's a, such a small area. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of this deeper sh shade right onto my eye. And blending out the wing is how we wanna do our wings now. Just blend out, smoke out your wing as much as you can without it looking too harsh. That looks more youthful than this type of wing, which is still nice. And I'm very impressed by this, by the way. <laughs> I love the formula of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put on lashes now. Yes, it's a whole thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the don't side for the lash. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna take this Duo Lash Glue and we're just gonna leave it there for 20 seconds. We all know this, we learned this back in the old school YouTube days. For the don't side, I took the lash glue, put it on the lash and then I pop it on to my eye and I would just follow the natural shape of my eye and pop it on, bam. We're glam. Now on the do side, I'm gonna show you how I have found this technique to be way better and less 2016. So instead of just taking the lash and popping it onto my eye, and instead of it being a full glam lash where you can't see anything in between, it's just the lash, I like to use more of a wispy lash that you can actually see your eye shape through. So I'm gonna just cut this down but I also don't wanna use the whole strip. What I find is way better on my eyes now and makes my eyes look more youthful and lifted is if I cut off so much more than what I used to wear. So I'll just start my lash right where the black ring around my eye starts and that will let me know how much I need to cut off. So I need to cut off all of this right here and then I lift it. So cutting off a lot of your lash, try it out. I swear you're gonna see a big difference. If you have hooded eyes, if you feel like your eyes are getting a little bit more droopy, try this out, It's you're gonna love it. We don't want our lashes to be hanging off anywhere. So I'm gonna take a clear lash glue pen and just apply it directly onto my skin. Let that sit, but I'm also going to put a little bit on the lash. Instead of covering the entire lash, I'm just gonna put some on the edges and then let it sit. So now that it's dry, I'm gonna first set down the front right where the black ring starts around my eye so that it looks more natural. And then once I get to the end, I'm gonna lift it up slightly so that it gives our eye a little bit of a lift that it used to have before. So I'm just gonna press that upward. It just makes our eyes look so much more awake, full of life, youthful, all the words, but it just looks so much better. I'm not gonna lie, like this looks very glam, very beautiful, but it's just not, it's not what I wanna wear today, like right now. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take you back to the don't side and we're gonna put some black liner on our waterline. So we are fully glam and we're gonna bring it all the way around. This is such a, Great formula, by the way. I love this black liner. It's from Araceli Beauty. 
bam. Okay, so I don't wanna do that on this side because it's gonna, again, weigh my eye down. It's gonna close off my eye, make it look smaller. So I'm gonna go back into this eye and add some sparkle to our eye because even though our skin is maturing or we have more mature skin, I don't think that we should just completely disregard sparkle. We can still use it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sparkle and put it on the inner corner, just like that. This is going to add light to the center of our eye, make our eyes look bigger and brighter. And you can even take a deeper shade of sparkle. I'm actually using the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette and I'm taking Laura for the inner corner. And I'm gonna take Exposed and Starcrossed and I'm gonna mix it with this matte shade from my transition palette. I'm gonna mix it with blushing and I'm gonna take it on the very lower lash line very close to the eye. We're not going into the waterline, we're staying on the outside of the lash line. We're also not going all the way in. It's gonna make our eyes look bigger, brighter, more defined, and just a little bit of that sparkle into that eyeshadow is gonna add more attention in a beautiful way to your eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that right on the lower lash line and bam, like, your glam in a different way. I'm really happy with this side, you guys. Lips, oh my gosh, lips, this is my favorite. As you get older, your lips do lose volume. I have filler in my lips. I got it like five, maybe six years ago. So I've had it for a while. I don't get it very often now because I feel like I don't need that much. But if you don't wanna spend money on your lip filler to fill your lips, you wanna just use makeup to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys on the don't side what we would think to do to make our lips look bigger and more plump. So I'm gonna take this deeper lip liner from Jacqueline Cosmetics, this is Hot Tea, and we're gonna overline our lip all the way around. This is such a beautiful formula too. All right, so we're overlined and gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take a lighter cream liquid lip. This is from KVD and Blossom, this is Blossom. So back in the day, I would love like a deeper liner, with a nude type of lip. This is probably gonna be something I like now, to be honest. But I would just take that over to add more light to the lip and the deeper lip liner to add shape to my lip. So our lips look pretty big and juicy at this point. And then I would also get a lighter shade, an even lighter shade. This is Can You Not from Dose of Colors and just put it on the center. This technique works, but for our age, let's try a different technique. <laughs> This is a lip liner. This is a shade from Ace Butte. I don't know what the shade is because it doesn't say. I think it came off already, but it's just like a really pretty mauve color. And what I'll do is I'll just overline the center and the corner, and then I'll bring in to my lip the rest of the line. So I'm not overlining the entire lip, just the top, bottom, and corner. And then also fill in the corners like this. And then after that, I'm using like a cherry color gloss. This one is a candle gloss from Kylie. I think it's called, can I borrow that? It's such a cute name, but this, it's just like a cherry gloss. And I would just take that gloss and use it on the center of my lips. I don't know why, like I feel like people more of a mature age are so scared to use shimmers and glosses, but you can. And I just think of my mom when she tells me, I don't wanna use that, I'm too old for that. I'm like, no, you're not. It's the way you put it on. You can still use everything. It's just, you have to use it in a different way. So after you're done putting the gloss on all over your lip, then go in with your finger and just press the outer part of the lip so it doesn't look too shiny. I do like the center looking more glossy, so I won't touch that. And this is what you get. Your lip looks like your lip, just a little bit more plump, more natural toned colors and it just looks more youthful and pretty. I feel that all of this makeup on this side is still really nice, minus the highlight. All the do's and don'ts for today, I don't know, I kind of love this side now, and this makes me just, throws me back to, you know, back in the day, back in the old 2016 YouTube days where makeup was glam, like super, super glam. Not to say that we can't still be there and we won't get there again, but it's just in a different way from when we were in our 20s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the side by side so you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna go close up so you guys can really see. This is 
the full full difference thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to thumbs it up also let me know in the comments if you found a tip that you have been needing i hope that this video has helped you also don't forget to check out these two videos over here if you haven't seen them already be sure to subscribe to my channel so we can see each other every single week and that is pretty much it before i let you go i just want to remind you to love yourself the way you are no matter what age you are you're beautiful don't forget that makeup is just fun so i hope i can help you feel and look your best i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye guys